Now we're going to talk about a new charity which is calling on former servicemen to come forward and act as mentors for other veterans who find themselves in prison after returning to civilian life. Now, having performed with thousands of servicemen over the years, we've got Jim Davidson uh, here. He's the chairman of what's called Care After Combat. And alongside Jim is trustee for the charity and Falklands War veteran Simon Weston. Very good to see you guys. Now, within Care After Combat, Jim, you've got this project called Phoenix. Yeah. Right, so Phoenix arises from the ashes. Yeah. What is this Project Phoenix? Well, Project Phoenix is very simply to find out and ascertain exactly how many veterans we've got in the criminal justice system in prison, to get in there with those veterans, um, sign them up to a project which will enable us to stop them reoffending. What we try and do, find them, give them a mentor, someone of their own sort of you know, age, someone that was in the military, talk to them, find out what they want to do and try and make that pathway for them. I mean, it, it makes sense uh, for, for people that are in prison, everyone in prison, not to offend when they come out. We think we can do that with the veterans. Ooh, big task, I would have it thought, is, yeah. Simon. Yeah. What sort of backing have you got with this one? Well, fortunately, we've got Mike Penning from the government. We've been working with the government for quite a while on it, um, and it started way, way before the election. Uh, and Mike Penning has been a big supporter. He works in the Ministry of Justice. So he he's been it. giving us a huge amount of support and advice. And we're, we're really looking with the governors from the prisons that we're working with at the moment uh, to sort of really roll out the programme from there. And then once we've rolled out the programme from those specific prisons uh, and we've got a success rate, then we are rolling to all the others... Um, and uh, as Jim can tell you, the, the prisons in Wales, are, are, they've, they've basically asked us to come in and do all of their prisons. Roughly we, how many former yeah. service personnel do you think well, are in prison? It's very, very difficult to tell. We think between about 4 and 6% of the prison population, if you think that's 80,000. Yeah. But they are the biggest cohort group uh, within the, the criminal justice system. And session. do you know why that is, Jim? You... Well, we'll find out, Eamon. Mm. Simon did the best little quote when we put the brochure together about being a noble warrior. Well, you don't just be a... You don't live your life as a noble warrior and then all of a sudden come out and become a, a criminal that deserves a, a custodial sentence. Yeah. And it takes quite a bit in this country now to get a custodial sentence, as we already know. So what's gone wrong? Something's gone wrong. And one of the things... I, I remember listening to an interview with Sugar Ray Leonard and the rest of the interview was great, but he, he said something that was very powerful. Um, and the interviewer said to him... What's the most difficult thing you found since retiring from boxing? And he said to remain relevant. Yeah. Mm. That, and I think a huge thing with these guys, you know, they've been sergeants, corporals, yeah. colour sergeants, company sergeant majors, officers, and all of a sudden they, they lose their relevancy with society. Yeah. You're defined by what you do, all of us. Yeah. And when yeah. people lose their job, and, and, and indeed they haven't really lost a job, they've lost a way of life. But let me ask you, my friend, mm. do they come out and do they all become cat burglars or, you know, what... what well, what certainly their training they... would help that, wouldn't <laughs> you? <laughs> The thing we found, Jackie, which is really interesting, is that they, they really don't want to be there. They want to come out and they want another go. They know they've made a mistake. And the overriding thing that our team had that actually go in the prisons is that all of them say, if you meet any other soldiers or you're speaking to regiments, a guy actually said this to Goose, one of our trustees, tell them we're sorry, we let the side down. So and and that, that is, gives you hope. So they, uh, they want to be owned again. They want to be valued again. They need their self-worth back. But this is where you need, uh, and, and part of what you're doing, is appealing for these mentors. Yes. Yeah. OK, now, so who are we talking about? What stage of veteran are we talking about? I mean, do you have to be ex ex-forces? Yes, you have to be ex-forces, because that's the best way you can right. link with Talk these the people. Talk the same language. But yeah. any age and, and, and any combat, really. I mean, uh, I've just been approached by one young fella, we've yet to contact back, who's lost both his legs from Afghanistan. He wants to help mentor guys who've been in prison. Yeah. So he can see the value of it. And he can see the need for these guys to feel relevant again. And how, 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 if people are watching this morning, they're saying... I could do that, or I know somebody who could yeah. do that. How do they get in touch with you? How I think, I think the them? best thing is to, uh, is to get on our, our website, just look up Care After Combat, it's www.careaftercombat.org, I don't know how yeah. you work it. I always get it wrong. Google or, it, anyway. Yeah, Google it, Google Care After Combat, get on Twitter, uh, or you can call us on 0300 343 2500. That's also our emergency 24-hour line, should anybody 
have any grief when we come out like international rescue and sort them out, Eamon. Sort it sounds, them sounds like the forces should do a bit more when their, you know, their personnel leave to become civilians. There should well, be they, some kind they, of bridging they, thing that's I not think working. I think they do as much as they can, and it has to be said that 99.9% .9 of all the veterans in this country are absolutely fine. They're the ones you want to employ, yeah. they're the ones you want on your team, yeah. but a very few of them fall through the cracks, and no one can do anything about that, but we're going to give them another chance. We're not going to say you get specialised treatment, you do the crime, you do your time. What we want to do is make sure they don't go back in. Well, fair play to you two uh, for doing what you're doing. Lovely seeing you both. Good luck with it all. Thanks, Care After so. Combat and the Phoenix Project within that. It's Jim Davidson and Simon Weston. Thank you both very much Thank indeed. You.